What did you say? No, oh, babe, it's from the new recipe book from Martha Stewart. Martha! Martha! Why would you say that name? No! 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 Whether you liked or disliked Batman v Superman, you cannot deny its character designs are excellent and capture the characters brilliantly. The obvious fan favorite was Ben Affleck's Batman, where he portrayed the Dark Knight perfectly, in my opinion. Mafex, known for making movie superheroes in figure form, has jumped at the opportunity to make a very popular version of Batman. Did they succeed or did they have a Martha moment and make a disappointment? Let's find out in my toy review of Mafex Batman v Superman, Batman. Hello everyone and thank you for joining us once again on the Beastars Zero One channel. I'm your host Dexter Raffulis and today we'll be looking at a figure that I was looking forward to for a very long time. It's been on pre-order and I finally got it. It's no other than the Batman v Superman Batman by Mafex. Now, I've been a fan of Mafex figures. I have the Batman from Batman The Dark Knight Rises, and I also have Catwoman, so I was really looking forward to see what was going on with this figure. So, let's go look into it, and let's see if this figure is worth your money. Right off the bat, <laughs> see what I did there? You'll notice just how dark this figure is, yet at the same time, he isn't so dark where he just blends into dark areas. This is due to the contrasting grays as well as the texture of his suit as you can see here. Upon looking closer, you'll notice that every bit of texture is successfully captured on his suit and really makes his figure look good. An excellent job in the sculpt by Mafex. His face is perfectly captured and looks just like Ben Affleck's Batman and this is due to the shading on his lower part of his face. Looking even closer, you will notice that the mask looks like a separate part of his face due to the intrusions of the mask by his eyes. Lastly, his cape is something to note. In my opinion, his cape is a little too shiny and kind of sets off the dark look and feel, but we will go more into that in the accessory. So here we are with the Mafex Batman v Superman, Batman, and we're going to talk about articulation and scale. So let's see how tall he is, let's take out our ruler, and let's stand him up straight. And it looks like we're looking at about maybe six and a quarter inches, maybe a little more on his height. And let's see how he scales with the Mafex. Um, Batman from uh, The Dark Knight Rises. This is the Christian Bale Batman. As you can see, they're just about the same scale and they work really well together. And lastly, I just wanted to put it next to the DC Universe Armored Batman. And again, it looks like they scale pretty well. So let's talk about articulation. Let's go on his toes. We have a articulation here at the toe. We have a ball joint here, double ball joint here. On his, uh, on his, on his, sorry, on his ankle, and we have a double joint here on his knee, and we have a joint here, ball joint here, on his leg. Uh, we don't get a articulation here. That's fine. It it looks really good without it, in my opinion. Let's see. Midsection, we have ooh, full rotation there and good rotation there. Double joints right here. Um, let's look at his arm. Now, here's what I don't like about his articulation. His arm. Oh, see, does not go all the way up like that. And if you look here on this Batman, it does do like a straight arm kind of thing here. This seems very limited. It cannot do a side movement. Unfortunately, that kind of hinders his uh, posability. So let's look at his uh, hand. We have a peg here, kind of like a ball joint peg combination here double joint on the elbow, and again we have this ball joint here, which can be easily removed as you saw on his shoulder. And we have a double joint here, one here, one here, 
on ball joint on his head. Really good, really well articulated with the exception of this arm. That kind of turns me off a little bit. But nonetheless, he poses really well, as you can see. So there you have it. There's the articulation for the Batman v Superman, Batman. Ten extra hands, battery, grappling hook, grenade launcher, stand, and gas grenade is what you get with this figure. Upon opening this figure, I was really satisfied with the amount of hands you get because it offers more variety in poses. This grappling hook is well detailed with a wooden grip and silver metallic painted parts which shows good attention to detail. Although I rarely talk about the stand when it comes to my reviews, this stand is a little bit disappointing and that's because you have this hoop design rather than a peg that goes into the actual figure itself. I don't like this as it becomes more obvious he is on a stand. Looking at the signature batarang, it is nice that they painted it metallic silver and really looks cool when he holds it as it contrasts his dark look. His kryptonite hand grenade is well, it's just plain as ever and has no paint in detail at all. It's just plain black and has no finish. This also goes for his grenade launcher. Out of all the accessories, I expected the grenade launcher to have the most detail and functionality, with at least the retracting stuff like in the movie. A little lazy as everything else you get is well detailed. Lastly, let's talk about the cape. Its sheen finish kind of off puts his overall look, which is a minor gripe. I think my major problem with his cape is the wireframe. I love this idea, but it's only on the sides and I wish it was all over so it could be fully posed. While you can pose the cape well, they miss the potential of a fully posable cape. Yet overall, he is quite a complete package and worth your money it could quite possibly be the best sculpted Batman in figure form. So let's break down this figure of the Mayfax Batman v Superman, Batman. All I gotta say is, it is worthy of my collection and it's probably worthy of your collection. Now I usually get a lot of toys and then when I get so many, I end up selling the ones that I kinda don't like. But this one I really wanna keep, it looks so good. And even though I thought Batman v Superman the movie was kinda mediocre, the character design of this Ben Affleck Batman is off the charts. I really like it. Now let's talk about negatives before we go any further. Now the cape could have been better. As I said before, it could have had a full wire on the bottom, but it doesn't. And that's okay. I can honestly live with that. But the one thing that kind of annoys me is the grenade launcher. I really like the grenade launcher. And obviously the grenade launcher is an important part of the movie. And I expected that grenade launcher to be a lot better. It doesn't have a retractable stock and it just looks, well, crappy. But besides that, this figure is fantastic. Love the detail, love everything about it. So let's give it a rating. I give this a solid 9 out of 10 D stars. Thank you for watching my channel. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And the next review will be Superman from the Batman v Superman line. Thank you for watching and have a good one. Hey you! Thanks for watching! Rate, comment, and subscribe! Where? Right here! Not there! Right here! You! And thanks for watching! So, rate, comment, and subscribe! Right here! Right there! Right here! Yeah! <laughs>